This snake is about to do something surprising. I have been studying flying snakes for over 20 years. And the reason that I find them so interesting is that the snake is perhaps the least obvious animal that should be able to fly through the air. It's thought that these snakes take to the air to avoid predators. But Jake Soha has a lot of questions about this unusual behavior. One of the most basic and important questions that we have had is, why does the snake undulate in the air? It's this very striking motion that looks like it's swimming in the air. Is it doing it because it's a snake? All snakes do this? Or is there some underlying physical function of this undulation? Jake and his team have been working with Chrysopelia paradisi, the paradise tree snake. So this is what a flying snake glide looks like. It flattens its body, that produces more lift, and then it also undulates through the air. Isaac Yeaton helped set up an experiment to measure flying snake undulation in precise detail. To determine what the snake is doing in the air, we have to measure points along its body. And in this study, to do that, we used a motion capture system. So this is the same system you'd see in a Hollywood movie. where They'd put markers on a person and then track them in 3D space. So we did that exact same thing, except we placed markers on the snake. The team took over a four-story black box theatre. They covered the floor with foam and lifted the snake high into the air. Crispy paradisi are tree snakes, so they're more comfortable in trees and in branches. And so we had a branch for them to jump off of. And in the center of the theater, we had also placed a fake tree. So this was to give them a target to jump and glide to. Then it was just a matter of persuading the snake to show off for the cameras. Sometimes the snakes were really interested in getting away from us and they would immediately jump. But sometimes they did need a little prodding. Once the snake did take to the air, the pieces of tape on its back provided data to the motion caption cameras, allowing Jake and Isaac to create a 3D model of the snake's movement. One takeaway from the study is that undulation increases the stability of flying snake glides. So in our model, what we did is we simulated glides with and without undulation. And what we found is that without undulation, the simulated snake is still going to cover some horizontal distance, but what happens is it it fails, and it fails by basically tumbling over. The side-to-side undulation, as well as a previously undiscovered vertical movement, allow the snake to stay in an upright position helping it glide safely to the ground. Using undulation like this is completely unique to flying snakes. No other gliding creature maintains stability in this way. And this new mechanism for gliding could even be used in robotics. There's already been inspiration for borrowing snake undulation and translating that into robots, and that's enabled those robots to move on sand or to swim or even move through really rough environments. And so we think that potentially you could use what we found out about an aerial undulation and translate that over into the snake robot to have a successful glide. But for Jake Soha, the satisfaction is that another mystery of flying snakes has been solved. From the study, we have a new understanding of how flying snakes glide. What we now know is that the undulation is not something that the flying snakes are doing just because they're a snake. Instead, the undulation is critical to their ability to glide. So with it, they're a graceful glider. Without it, they're just another snake falling to the ground. You ready? It's going now.